Alright, so uh, this is going to be a short update. This is not going to be very long. Uh, but a few things I wanted to show you guys is that uh, I finished up the house. Um, it's about as big as the school is, which is weird. But this is dollhouse style, and this is like a full ledge thing. So I don't know. If you wanted to get two schools and put them next to each other, then this would be taller. But... uh. Uh, apart from that, I think it's fine. They're not too scale with each other, but it's fine. I was just expecting this to be smaller. Oh, um, before I take the roof off, I just want to say, uh, first of all, this is built on, like, little hinges and slopes. So, creates the appearance of the roof. And I checked, this piece does exist in Studio in dark green. Uh, and it's not a super expensive part, so, yeah. Um, I'm going to get in here, and we'll show you guys that I made a little function for the garage. Uh, basically, you take this whole assembly out. Oh, I think, I'm, I think it's hiding a brick right now, but uh, you sort of, like, pop this assembly out of the clip, and you can, like, push the garage down. Um, you can push it down uh, and it will stop right here uh, and I don't know how well that will work because I don't really have the pieces to test this in real life but I'm hoping that will work fine uh, to get the garage down and everything else on the interior is just the same everything else in here is just fine uh, I got that over in studio, been doing some price checking. I think I still need an editor to make uh, some big decisions to get the price down. Uh, but this is actually more pieces than the school, so yeah, it's a little bit backwards, but I think that's fine. Everything here and here was finished uh, last time. Uh, but one thing I will say is that in Studio, I've been building a road to go across this front bit, like there is in the game. Um, it goes in front of the house, and there's like a little archway and stuff like that. Um, and then I built a camera on the bench that's supposed to go in front of the school. So I have been building some stuff. Uh, and then we have the windmill. Uh, this is a start on the windmill. I need to do something different for the roof than just that, because in-game it's like there's a whole assembly for the roof. Um, yeah. Uh, but I have this little gear function here, and I tried to set up as well as I could in LVD for it to spin, and as you spin this little gear, uh, this little statuette in here will spin as well, uh, and that will also spin the turbines of the windmill. It's like this goes all the way up there. This is like a ball swivel piece. So yeah. Um, one thing I thought might have been cool that I didn't get to do is like have a little like a little pedestal on here that you could place the windmill on. You aren't using it. Actually I didn't really size check this either. Eh, it will work. Yeah, I'll fit. Okay. Might just be blocking the school a little bit. But that's fine. Yeah. That's the other thing, is I feel like I might have made the windmill too big. Uh, but yeah, I'm making some progress on the windmill. And... I got the bull, I got the statue, and I got the little signpost. So yeah, making good progress. And I'll see you all in the next update. Bye-bye. Oh wait, hold on. Wait, that was the wrong button to end it.